The small robot company are a UK-based agritech startup looking to replace big tractors with small robots. They believe that where tractors are neither efficient nor environmentally friendly, their small robots will seed and care for each individual plant in a crop. There are some big problems with the way that we farm and produce food at the moment. We're producing things in quite an inaccurate way. Farming by averages approach. For example, when we're applying chemicals to a field, a big chunk of that fertiliser is, is never being taken up by the plant. It's either uh, evaporating into the atmosphere or it's um, going into the soil and being washed away and never really coming into contact with the roots of the plant. Currently, 95% of energy is used in ploughing and ploughing is only necessary because of heavy machinery crushing soil. The current machinery that we have available, if you like, the tools that we use to farm, are no longer enabling an increase in productivity. So these machines are extremely heavy, which has a negative impact on the soil. So they're, they're compacting the soil, which restricts root growth. There's an $800 billion a year damage bill from farming. So we at Small Robot Company are trying to maximise the way that we use technology to produce food. We recognise that there was a big gap between what was technically possible and what was actually happening on farm. And we started to think there's a better way of doing things that, that technology could enable. So we could establish a system that rather than considered the field as a unit, considered the individual plant as a unit, and then treated each plant as an individual item and applied that fertiliser much more accurately. We spent a long time going around and interviewing farmers. Uh, we've interviewed over a hundred farmers now. They were very into the idea of technology, but they were really scared about spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on a new piece of kit that they didn't understand. So we wanted to explore a way to really lower that barrier to entry and make sure that farmers can get involved and take advantage of it without having those uh, big hurdles of the cost and, and the fear of, of things going wrong. So we really needed to work with somebody who knew not how to develop a system that already exists and make it better, but develop a completely new system, uh, which meant that when we saw the opportunity to apply for the IET Horizontal Innovation uh, Competition at the end of last year, we thought this is a great opportunity to work with the best. In March 2018, the Small Robot Company were announced winners of a prestigious Horizontal Innovation Award to develop Harry, the company's new drilling and planting robot. The IET has teamed up with the MTC to deliver its Horizontal Innovation Programme. Horizontal Innovation is the process of having a problem in, in your field and looking outside your sector to other areas for a solution. The Small Robot Company's application was the perfect example of Horizontal Innovation. They took the concept of robotics from the service robotics field and industrial manufacturing and applied it to agriculture, taking all of the existing technologies and packaging them into a new system that would help tackle food productivity, waste and pollution within the existing agricultural industry. We developed a system of three small robots, Tom, Dick and Harry. Tom is the monitoring robot, so Tom is going into a field, analysing each individual plant, understanding whether there are nutrient issues, disease issues in that field and where exactly they are. Dick is a micro-spraying and non-chemical weeding robot. So taking the data that's been gathered by Tom and going out into the field and applying chemicals in, in minute doses just to the plants that need it. And then the final uh, robot on the service is Harry and Harry is a digital planter. So placing an individual seed in the ground uh, and varying the seed spacing and seed depth of that seed based on, uh, based on the current understanding of best practice. Uh, the idea behind Harry is that he doesn't need to plant into a ploughed field. He can just punch plant directly into the soil, directly into the stubble of the previous year's crop. And there are huge advantages um, of this uh, for uh, the environment. If you leave the soil alone and you don't stomp up and down on it, it will automatically look after itself and the worms will come back and you'll get a much better growing medium for the plants. The other thing about doing punch planting is every time you plant a seed, you know exactly where it is, uh, which means that we can provide a per plant map of the entire crop. The small robot company already have one robot working the fields, named Rachel. 
Rachel is our prototype Tom um, robot, so she's a really good test bed for us to try out some of the, the things that Tom needs to be able to do. So that she knows where she is, uh, she has um, a very, very accurate GNSS system on the back here, which can give us a two centimetre ground location fix. Uh, also on the robot, we have a mobile phone on the back. It enables us to have a Wi-Fi hotspot. If we've got 3G or 4G connectivity in the field, then we can get a data connection. Um, and it also allows us to uh, interact with the, with the robot by um, connecting onto it uh, over Wi-Fi from a mobile phone or from um, a laptop nearby. So inside uh, we have basically a battery and a Raspberry Pi um, and also some more bespoke Arduino based hardware um, which we use for interacting with the wheel encoders and some of the other electronics on board. Um, we also have a speed controller and some equipment for getting all the right voltages that we need for the various parts of the system. We make extensive use of the, um, the ROS robot operating system framework, um, which really means that we don't have to redo all the common things that people who make robots have to do. So we can um, make use of those common components and then build our own smarts on, on top of that software. The IT gave us a fantastic opportunity to do this. And what really nailed it for us is the first time we went to the Manufacturing Technology Centre in Coventry to see where our work was going to be done and meet the team that we were working with. Because their view uh, was to apply a completely um, ground up sort of functional design process in an area where I don't think anybody is thinking about this at that level. The Manufacturing Technology Centre is part of the government's high value manufacturing catapult. We're designed to help UK businesses accelerate their investment and R&D in manufacturing technologies. As the winner of the Horizontal Innovation Competition, Small Robot Company have been awarded £50,000 of in-kind research based at the MTC. We are working at the Bristol Robotics Laboratory over the summer uh, to work on building robot prototypes. So hopefully we'll have an early proof of concept to see in September or October. The team that we've been working with, led by Redland, have done some fantastic stuff. And for us, it's been vital to what we're doing. Without the work that's going on at the moment with the MTC, the robots that we're building wouldn't be able to happen. Really the thing for us is this opportunity to essentially create this new farming revolution, allowing rural economies to become more diversified as jobs move towards taking part in an actual agricultural business, uh, which is an intrinsic part of the local community.